Hi everybody, welcome back. Time to do some yoga. Get ready, get your mat, get some props if you'd like to use them. I'll see you right back here. We'll start today in Anahatasana on hands and knees. Think of it as a puppy dog pose. Your knees stay down on the mat. Slide the hands out, lower the elbows, keep the forearms parallel so they look like the number 11. Relax your forehead down on the mat, keep the sit bones lifting up. Try to soften into space so the heart center melts a little toward the mat. It's called Anahatasana because Anahata Chakra, which is the heart chakra, is the area that is stimulated here. It's opening up. We're clearing out the heart chakra. From, a, from an anatomy standpoint, right, we're just putting the spine in extension, so we're creating a little bit of mobility along the spine. Nice shoulder opening stretch. Feel free to fire up a gentle ujjayi breath if you like. Even though we are in spring season, it's still a little chilly yet, as the warmer weather has yet to fully arrive here. Let's take another two or three deep breaths. One more. Releasing, slide the hands in, lift your head up so you're on hands and knees. Let's take an extended cat pose. Round down. You can keep the tops of your feet on the mat. Breathe up between the shoulder blades. Tuck the tailbone a little bit. Option, if you want to add a little wrist stretch, you can flip the hands around with your fingertips pointing toward the knees. Please modify your practice today as it makes sense for you. Let's hold for another deep breath. Return to a neutral spine. Flip the hands back around if they're not already. Let's come forward, lower all the way down onto your belly. Slide the arms out to the sides like airplane wings. Roll onto the right arm, slide the left hand in. Your head is on the mat, you're looking to the left side. Step your left foot behind you on the mat. If the foot needs to stay in front, that's okay. Just try to relax the neck and shoulders here a little bit. Let's give it another full breath. Release, come back to center, slide the left arm out. Go the other way. Head down as you look to the right. Step your right foot behind you or in front. Let's give it another full breath. Coming back to center, slide both hands into opposite sides of the chest. Come on to hands and knees, and let's take it to downward facing dog. Lift the hips up and back. And of course, if you like, you can walk out the feet, pedal out the heels. Just getting the rest of the body warmed up. And with a big inhale, lift the heels up. Big exhale, sink the heels down. Take it forward to plank pose. Vashistasana side plank. Face the right side of the room. Keep your left hand down, stack the right hip on top. Modify any way that you wish. If you want to lower the bottom knee, the left knee, or float the right leg up. 
Just stay with the breath one more time. And lower back down to center plank. Let's go the other way, face the left side. Right hand down, left leg on top. Try to do the same variation from the first side. One more breath. Bring it back to center. You can drop the knees or take chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale, pull through, cobra or up dog. And bring it back to downward facing dog. Put a little bend in the knees, look forward. Walk or lightly hop your feet to the front. Fold over the legs, keep the feet slightly separating. As you hang over the legs, take your hands to opposite elbows and just drape yourself over the legs. You can nod the head or sway a little if you like. Holding this uncomplicated ragdoll pose. Decompressing the whole spine. Switch the hands opposite on top. Give yourself another full breath. Dropping the arms toward the mat, roll up slow to stand. Press down as you come up. Head up, shoulders back, standing nice and tall in Tadasana. Press down through the legs, inhale, sweep the arms around, reach overhead, maybe look up. Exhale, dive, arms behind you, interlace fingers, stretch the arms overhead, drop the head down, hold for another deep breath. And then relax your hands and fingertips to the mat, lift your chest, step it back into plank pose. Take a deep breath in, chaturanga or drop the knees. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Let's take two or three deep breaths. You're always welcome to take a little breather in child's pose. One more breath. From your down dog, look forward, walk or hop the feet. Lift your chest on the inhale, then exhale, fold head down, bring both feet all the way together, sit in chair pose, bend the knees deep, arms up, plug the shoulders back a little bit, knees back, bring the palms together at the heart. Take standing figure four, shift your weight to the right leg, take your left ankle, lift it above the right knee. Sitting a little deeper if you have space to do so. Find length in the spine, chest up. One more breath. Stepping into warrior one, left leg back, spin the heel down, bend the right knee, reach up, look up if you can, Virabhadrasana. You maybe even interlace fingers and press the palms up. As the legs continue pressing down, one more breath. Humble warrior, look forward, arms behind you, interlace fingers, lengthen chest up, come forward, head down, round as the arms lift overhead toward the sky. One more breath. Press through the legs. Lift the chest, lower your hands to the inside of the right foot. Take skandasana, side lunge, go to the left as you stretch the right leg. Hold for a breath. You can always, if you want, bring the palms together if you want to balance. And hands down, skandasana, go to the right. Front of the mat, bend the right knee, stretch the left leg, and same thing if you want to bring the palms together or keep the hands down. Let's take low lunge at the back of the mat. Lower your hands, come up, pivot as you walk your hands around to opposite sides of your left foot. You should be facing the back of the room. 
Keep your right hand down, lift the left arm, low lunge twist. Reach high, look up, one more big inhale. Exhale, lower the left hand, warrior one at the back of the room. So the right heel spins down, press down, lift. And again, if you wanna interlace fingers overhead, press the palms up, feel free, look up, one breath. Good, look straight ahead, warrior two, drop the arms out to the side, look over the left middle finger and hold for a breath. Take star pose, go to your right, straighten the left leg, straighten both legs, angle the toes out a little bit, bend the knees, bend the elbows for goddess, tailbone down, chest up, so the arms are parallel to the floor, knees line up over the heels, press down, inhale back to star, come up, warrior two to the front, so pivot the feet, right toes out, bend deep through the right knee, hold for another deep breath. Reverse warrior, sweep the right arm over. Low lunge, hands down, turn on the back toes. When you get here, lift the right arm. Low lunge twist, reach high. Lower the right hand, down dog, step back. You can hold it here or flow through. Let's give it another full breath. Soft knees, look forward. Walk or lightly hop the feet. Lift the chest, inhale. Exhale, round it down. Stepping the feet all the way together. Utkatasana chair. Palms to prayer. Keep sitting deep. Shift your weight to the left leg, right ankle above the left knee for your standing figure four. Relax the shoulders back, hold for one more breath. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana, unwrap the right leg back, spin the heel down, press through, reach up, look up, take another full breath. Look straight ahead, humble warrior, arms back, interlace fingers, chest up, come through, head down, arms overhead, give it another full breath. Keep the legs nice and strong, press down, chest up, hands to the inside of the left foot, skandasana, take it to the right, back of the mat, bend the right knee, stretch the left leg, one breath. We'll take it to the other side, to the left, hands down, sit bones up, skandasana, side lunge left. One more breath. And low lunge to the back of the mat, hands down, come up, pivot, 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 hands to opposite sides of the right foot. Level the hips, lift the right arm, reach high, Lower the right hand. Warrior one, back heel spins down, press through, lift up. Give it another full breath. Warrior two, reach out. One more breath. Star pose, go to the left, straighten the right leg, arms up, angle the toes, goddess pose, bend the knees. Bend the elbows, line up, press down, inhale, star, come up. Warrior two, back to the front. Bend deep through the left knee, keep the alignment clean, one more breath. Reverse the warrior, sweep the left arm over. Low lunge, hands down, turn on the back toes to level out the hips, lift the left arm, low lunge twist, reach high. One more big inhale. Exhale, lower the left hand and down dog. Bring it back. You can hold it here or flow through. Take a brief child's pose, lowering the knees, toes together. 
You can reach arms out or back. Whatever feels good here with the shoulders. Keep the breath strong. And let's hold for another deep breath or so. And coming back up onto hands and knees, let's bring it back to down dog. From your down dog, a little bend in the knees, walk your hands back to your feet. Fold over the legs, back of the mat, your feet hip width distance apart, Padangustasana, hand to toe pose. Grab onto your big toes in yogi toe lock, lift the chest, inhale. Exhale, head down, elbows out. Of course, please feel free to modify in ragdoll with your hands holding opposite elbows. Let's take another two or so deep breaths. And pressing down, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, release out the toes. Walk your hands back out for downward facing dog. Let's do a little lizard pose. Lift the right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip, head down. Let's take a nice little hip stretch here. Now drop the hip, step your right foot outside the right hand, keeping it pretty close to the edge of the mat and keep your back knee lifted. If you wanna drop the hands or if you wanna uh, drop the elbows, feel free to do so. I like to use a, a block to give myself a little height here. Feel free to do the same. The option, if you wish to make this a little more active and you want to challenge your balance, keep your hands down, keep your left hand down close to the left edge of your mat. We're kicking the back leg through, the left foot through the middle. So press down, chest up, step the left foot through and reach the right arm up and back. Step it back. Whoop. We'll do that one more time. Press down, left hand down, kick the left foot through, right arm up, and kick back. Let's take it to pigeon pose from here. Taking a little breather, bring the right knee through, left leg back, sit tall. Lengthen, hips level, props if you wanna use them, and walk the hands out, head down. And let's hold for another two or three deep breaths. One more breath. And slide the hands in, lift the head up. Roll to the right leg and sweep the left leg around all the way. Come into Gomukhasana. Bring your left knee on top of the right and slide your feet out to the sides. If you get here and this doesn't feel great on the knees or the hips, just Dial it back into a cross-legged seat, Sukhasana, with the left ankle lined up in front of the right, completely up to you. Start with the hands back behind you. Lean in, and if there's room to do so, walk your hands out. Lean forward, and let's hold for another deep breath. Return upright, hands in, head up. Little twist, go to the left. Drop the left arm back. You can either keep your right hand on the left knee, or if you're in Gomukhasana, you can take the right arm to the outside of the left leg to brace yourself into a slightly deeper stretch. One more breath. Bring it back to center. Let's unwrap the legs, Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together. Hands to your feet, chest up. Stay here or lean in. Give yourself another deep breath or two. And returning back up. 
Hands to the knees, fold the knees in, come forward, take it back to down dog. Shake it out, stretch it out. Switching up the sides, we'll inhale, lift the left leg. Lizard pose, step the left foot outside the left hand, close to the edge, but definitely keeping your foot on the mat. Hands down, elbows down. If you wanna, again, use a block under your forearms. Great way to give yourself some height, give your wrist a little bit of a break if they, if they need it. Hold it here, keeping the pose nice and active, or if you wanna do the challenging variation, the kick through, right hand down, and step the right foot through, left arm up, and bring it back. One more time, right hand down, kick the right foot through, and bring it back. Pigeon pose, slide the left knee through, right leg back, sit tall, modify as you need, props as you see fit, and if you're good to go, slide the hands out, and lower the head down. Let's take another two or three deep breaths. And coming out, slide the hands in, lift the head up. Releasing, roll to the outer left hip. Bring the right leg all the way around. Go Mukasana, cow face. Bring the right knee all the way on top of the left. Your feet reach out to the sides. Again, if you're dialing it back, just take a cross-legged seat. Bring your right ankle in front of your left this time. Hands behind you, sit tall, lean in. Or if you have space to do so, walk the hands out, lean in. One more breath. And bring it back in, return upright. Take a little twist, go to your right, drop the right arm back and either left hand to the right knee or if you're in Gomukhasana, left arm outside the right leg for a slightly deeper twist. One more breath. Come back through center, release the legs, Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees out, sit tall, stay upright or lean in. Give yourself another full breath. And coming all the way back upright, hands to knees, fold the knees in, roll down onto your backs, hug the knees in toward the chest. As we continue winding things down, yogi's choice. You can always do the restorative stretch of your choice or stay on your back. Separate the feet a little bit, drop the knees in, place both palms face down on the belly. You can hold here, breathe. This is the exact opposite of the Baddha Konasana that we just did with the hip opening stretch. It releases the low back, it releases the hips, as I said, or another restorative stretch of your choice. If you wanna go upside down, this is a good opportunity to do so. Sarvangasana shoulder stand, if that's in your practice to do. Lift up, hands to the lower back, only looking up at your feet. Do not, do not, do not turn your head and then drop the head back just a tiny bit so you're not tucking your chin too much into your chest. Maybe halasana, plow, legs overhead, and hold for another deep breath. Slowly release out if you're upside down. Come out. Take your counter stretch, fish pose, matsyasana. I always like to use a block 
between my shoulder blades, straight legs, chest up, head back, or using a prop like I am. Wrap the shoulder blades around the block, head back. And if you're doing the restorative stretch, feel free to hug the knees in. Windshield wiper the knees a little side to side. Maybe a little twist, happy baby pose. One more breath. And releasing out. If you're using a prop like I am, roll off to your side, remove the prop, return onto your back and hug the knees in toward the chest. From here, just lay back on the mat, settling into your Shavasana, extending out the legs. Feel free to roll up a blanket or something behind the knees or slide a bolster behind the knees to help release the low back a little more. Maybe cover yourself with a blanket to stay warm while the body cools down as you lay in stillness. Turn the palms up, close your eyes. Letting go of any ujjayi breath. Just settling back into space and enjoying a few moments of stillness before returning to your day. Feel free to remain for longer if you have the time. Otherwise, I will leave you here. Thank you again for sharing your practice with me. Until we meet again on the mat, namaste.